This is the Maserati 250F. To me, one of the most beautiful racing cars of all time. And when I found out that Sir Sterling Moss passed away, I knew I wanted to dive into sim racing and go back in time and try to experience what it would have been like to be him. Now to me, a great combination available to us is the 250F and the Monaco GP. So we're gonna be taking this around and enjoying some laps where he won three times here. And in one instance, in a car, a red 250F, just like this in 1956, he led from the first to last lap and just killed it against guys like Fangio and just legends of the sport. In fact, Enzo Ferrari once said that Sir Sterling Moss was one of the best drivers of all time. So what way to honor him than to drive in 50s Formula One. He was an all around, any car he hopped in, he did well in. But to me, the epitome of motorsport is 50s and 60s Formula One. And this 250F is just so special. This is the straight six cylinder version. It's about 1500 pounds, 270 brake horsepower at 8,000 RPM. And it's a pretty unique vehicle. In fact, if you want to try to correlate it to anything modern, it's actually pretty similar in some ways to a car that I have quite a bit of experience in that I built was that Caterham R400. Now, the reason I say that is because this car has a very similar power to weight ratio and it has somewhat similar suspension, wishbone suspension independent in the front and then a DD on tube in the rear, which is something unique. Uh, I believe Ferrari did it before Maserati, but Maserati took that on and it helped create a more even weight distribution in this, in this car. So it's a very, very special car and one that uh, really looks nice. The last couple things I just wanna say is Sir Sterling Moss was known to be one of the greatest drivers, but he never won a world championship. Pretty wild and something that uh, I kind of forgot, to be honest with you. Um, and the last thing really is that he was lined up to drive for Ferrari in 1962, which was a huge deal. And at that point, unfortunately, he had an accident at Goodwood where uh, he was put into a coma for a month and then it left him paralyzed for like six months. He came back to try to do some testing to try to get back into a car and really he just didn't have the control. So that was really the end of his racing career but he lived on to support legends in our sport currently and develop and be a part of some very, very special cars moving throughout. So anyway, this is such a cool car in combination to dive in in sim racing. I recommend you do it yourself as well. All right, here we are in the Maserati 250F in the pits here at Monaco. My goal is to treat this very realistically. A um, bit cheesy, but I feel like that's the way you best experience something like this. You got to treat it like you can't throw it into a wall. A um, couple things I'm going to put, a couple links in the description. One will be for a GoPro video of a guy driving a real one of these at Monaco and it is an incredible video put that in the description and then also put a little reminder to check out a documentary called one the number one um, all about 50s formula one 50s and 60s formula one and how dangerous it was so check that stuff out and let's uh, see what this is like man that first gear pull <laughs> I was gonna go to second but that first is crazy you gotta think this is actually a four-speed transmission here Tall gear, second all the way up the hill, we'll put third. Got to be careful under braking. I think that's going to be our biggest challenge in this car, is just respecting, respecting the braking power. Nice and tight through here, get on it early, back in, coming out. What a beast. Downhill braking zones. There's two or three of them on this track, and that's what I'm most worried about. Technically, this is downhill as well, but lower speed. Can you imagine coming around here winning? In 50s and 60s Formula 1, you were an absolute hero. You were a stud if you were winning Formula 1 races. I can't imagine what it was like to win here in the middle of all this chaos. Man, that back end comes out so easy. It's going to be really fun to try to control that around these laps. Through the tunnel. Wow. Wow. Again, very significant braking zone down here into the chicane tough to get that line through there what an experience this is 
no downforce at all in these older cars. Trying to use that engine braking a bit to slow down, so I'm actually not getting too, too crazy with my rev matches. It might chirp the rear end a smidge, but man, I need every ounce of engine braking that I possibly can get right now. Not a bad lap. This is so much fun. Formula One was just so dangerous during this time. I can't imagine trying to wheel something like this around here with walls left and right. No real safety devices. That's why Sterling Moss was just such a legend. Can you imagine winning around here three times? In that era. Nice and tight. Man, this thing is just a beast. I think the thing I really like about this and older Formula One cars and older cars in general is it always proves how driving a slower car fast is so much more fun than driving a faster car slow because you can't control it. This is about raw driving experience. I don't know how it translates on video, but I'm just as much on my toes right now trying to balance this thing around the track as I would be in a modern Formula One car. Despite the massive differences in speed, this is an experience. And this is not easy, but man, it's so much slower, but you're still pushing a machine to its limit. And it's not easy. So easy to lock up. Whew. That's a tough corner here. I love how going up this hill you can tell Okay, this thing actually does have some power. This is such a tight circuit, it's kind of hard to tell, but... This thing will move. But then it's really, really fun in the slow stuff. Quite a slow circuit, but... Just so iconic. I just can't imagine ripping around here in the area of era of Fangio Fangio oh. racing them in the Ferrari and Sterling Moss racing them in this ah man it would be amazing to be able to go back in time and see that this is as close as we're gonna get Man, that is so hard to get this thing slowed down. <laughs> the brakes definitely leave something to be desired, but man, it makes it an interesting balance. let it snap on you catching it is almost impossible Whew. all right we're gonna give it one last lap to try to clean it up it just shows how difficult this is let's try to get one nice clean lap here There you go. 
That was pretty nice. And try to go wide here. There we go. There we go. Down into first. You can get on it pretty early here. Try to counteract that understeer. Don't worry about the bump. Getting down into first. Nice and tight through here. A little burst of throttle in first. Still back in coming out. actually screwed me there. Kind of lost any sort of steering. Well, we didn't really get a clean lap in, but I'll tell you what, hopefully this showcased what this would be like to try to drive these cars around this circuit, 50s Formula One, rest in peace Sterling Moss. What an incredible, incredible career he had. Uh, unfortunately cut short, but uh, this is just really something that I think everyone should dive into. Enjoy this 250F, enjoy some of the other cars that Sterling Moss has, has driven and honor his career today um, and through the week, whatever. Very, very fun. And thank you, Assetto Corsa, for allowing us to be able to do this type of stuff. Uh, without this, how else are you going to be able to uh, experience something like this? So thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out.